Welcome back to Prairie Dog Land Saskatchewan. I'm Quentin here, and today we're going to advance upon the text based game that I started in the last video. So we'll just open that up. We're going to add a function right where when you're mining, you actually get some resources, and then we'll have a game over function. So, alright, so now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to add um, void random. We'll call this random. So we'll go void and random. Random. Alright. So then we'll say init no, integer a. So for int i equals one, and we do semicolons, and i greater than, no, it's less than two, more semicolons, and i plus plus. All right, so now we'll do some scrolly brackets here. Then we'll go a equals rand, yeah, with the brackets there. And then what we just skip the brackets here, and then we go percentage, and then 100. So that means a random number will be chosen underneath 100. So what basically zero to 100. And then we'll go if a is greater than zero and a is less than 10 then we'll go see out you found you found gold and then we'll go doop doop and end line all right so then for the next line we're going to go gold plus equals one so now every time that a is greater than zero but less than 10 you'll find gold in the game so we'll go here and then if a is greater than 10 and a is less than let's say 30 then we'll find silver all right and then silver plus equals what all right then we'll go for the final one if a is greater than 29 and a is less than 101 then we'll say you who found nothing all right and then we'll go all right so then at the end of this we'll hit all right so we type random here so that after you've been mining, you should be able to find something. So we'll see if this works. We'll go to mining. Oop. All right, so you can see it sort of works. All right, so at the end of this, we're gonna want to go sleep. Yep. 1000 all right and then we'll be able to see what we found all right so now mining and you found nothing if you want to test to see if the number system is actually working you go c out and then a and compile and run that it's working so far which is good so i want to add a die function right such so there is a probability that you can die so we'll go dot i and then we'll go void Die. You've died. All right. So what we we'll actually want to start with the system CLS, so that clears everything before the player dies, right? And then after this, we're going to want to go to. We're going to want to make a game over function just so it looks nice. So we'll go void game over. All right. All right. So then we'll say here game over all right so then for the game over part we're going to avoid game over and then we'll go see out game over once again we're going to add a system cls and the line and then we'll go sleep 1000 because we'll want this message to stay there for only a little bit and then we'll go to system CLS 
And then we'll just have it sleep with the screen cleared for 1000. And then this will kind of give the blinky um, effects of like the old arcade games and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Alright, and then at the end of this, we'll go main, and then we'll do that, and then, so then here, in A, we'll say, the, in the random function, we'll say, if A, if A is greater than, we'll just give this a quick test here, but if A is greater than, let's say, 40, and A is less than 70, then will have die. Alright, now we'll run this. We'll see if it works. Oh, it works. See? So now we get the blinking effect. I'll have to take out the end line though because then it gives that blinking part there, which is kind of annoying. Now we'll compile and run it. Alright, we got the game over. All right, so we got a die function now. Now, of course, we're not going to want to leave it at this, so we'll probably do it like 90 to 100. We better make that 95. We want the deaths to be pretty rare. We'll actually go with 98. That way, you can only die if the number reaches 100. And that's all that I've got time for, for today, so I'll be seeing you in my next video.